you're watching Rose Squad Reviews. I'm Melanie, and today we are going to be doing another mini manga review. And it's about one of my favorite manga ever. <laughs> so without further introduction, because I distinct introductions, we're going to be talking about Fruits Basket Another. And I have the first two volumes here for us to talk about. If you've seen any of the videos on this channel or know me at all, um, we're a pretty big fan of Fruits Basket. We... <laughs> Today we're going to be reviewing Anime Fruits Basket. Watch Fruits Basket. Except some of them are kind of beat up, but that's okay because I love them anyways. Next up we have Fruits Basket. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're like, what is Fruits Basket? First of all, go check that out. It's great. I seriously watch Fruits Basket. <laughs> I have watched the anime and I'm a really big fan of the manga, so when I heard that Fruits Basket Another was coming out, I was super excited. And for those of you who don't know, Fruits Basket and Other is a spin-off series to regular Fruits Basket. So it's in the same setting, it's at the same high school that Kyo and Yuki and, Yor and Toru and everybody else went to. Um, however, this time it's a generation later, so instead of your old crowd, you have the kids <laughs> of all your favorite characters um, all going to high school together. So. It's, it's written by the same author, but sometimes it seems a little bit like a fan fiction, just because, like, everyone is here, they all just keep popping up, which as a fan of the series is great fun, because you get to kind of meet the new characters and see their parents through them and kind of relive the series a little bit, and there's like little hints here and there, but there's also kind of like new things that are going on and new conflicts, and the main character is one of the only, I say original characters, but like, like she doesn't have anything to do with the previous cast of characters, and so in that way she's original, I guess. So this is your main character, and she kind of looks like Toro a little bit, you know. But like, things are different. But she kind of does look like Toro. She's like sort of Toro incarnated a little bit. And then this is, on the second volume here, is um, Yuki's son. And he kind of looks like Yuki a little bit, but he he acts like Yuki a lot. Oh my gosh. Um, and then I'm anticipating on the third volume we have a picture of Kyo-san. And I'm excited. Yeah. And it wouldn't really make sense for them to go behind beyond just the three volumes because some of the characters are going to be graduating in, at the end of the school year, and so it's only like at a brief period of time that they can all be in the same spot. Um, as far as cameos of previous characters go, you only get like... You don't really see any of the faces of the actual cast of main characters. There's a couple like minor characters, like for example... Um, some of the younger siblings of the main characters are included, but whenever like the main characters are referenced, you kind of see like either an outline of them or, or you just kind of see like the backs of their heads or like their faces are kind of like not really done in detail or anything. This story kind of came from them in some aspect, but this isn't about them anymore. We have a new cast of characters that we can focus on. Um, it's going to make a little bit more sense if you've read the manga as opposed to just watching the anime. Because the anime, as it stands, just covers the first kind of section as supposed to be like an introduction to the manga. And thirdly, before I let you go, public service announcement. They are coming out this year with a remake of the anime that's going to go full length of the manga. And I'm super excited. I am... <laughs> I don't usually pay for subscriptions or anything, so I don't try, I don't pirate, I don't recommend pirating, um, but I'll watch things with ads, but I am seriously considering buying some Funimation subscriptions just so I can watch Fruits Basket, like, I'd pay that six dollars, man. I'm so happy, it's, I'm so excited, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great, um, so public service announcement for that, and... Also, public service announcement for you to read Fruits Basket and other because it's a really fun series, um, even outside of like the context of Fruits Basket. But if you've read Fruits Basket, I think that just makes it like even better. <laughs> 